Welcome back one and all, back with Spartacus Legends episode 44, I'm sorry it's been a while, just briefly want to explain what's happened, um, been moving house and obviously no internet, um, no you know TV, Playstation etc, not set up right, we're sort of halfway set up now, it's still a bit echoey because I've got no carpet or nothing down in this lounge at the moment. I've also got myself a Pixie Bob kitten, if you haven't checked that out on the channel and have a look and see him. He's called Spartacus, or Sparty for short, and he's a bit of a handful. So if anything goes wrong in this video, or you hear crying or purring, or someone, me telling someone to go away, or he's knocked the mic over or something, then apologies for that. He is a bit of a handful, the little Pixie Bob. Thought I'd just do a bit of a refresh really of where we are, so we're going to go and have a look in the Lutus just to remind you what's happened because it has been a little while before we uploaded Spartacus. So let's start from the top. Still got the same gladiators Galnius, dual sword, Calvanius, who has definitely produced above his station only being a green gladiator and has actually killed some legends really has been a gladiator of worth for us the main man the main man needs no introduction really real big vic approaching 50 fights now only lost those two fights and he will probably be being primed up for the big primus in the next or maybe in this episode maybe in the next episode in the spartacus arena district dual dagger market alley legend a colitus who defeated ixian in the pits the gladiator we've got to have even though we're not very good at it is a pedius the trident because we need one to beat vitius the leech to unlock the massive primus against crixus our highest ranked gladiator in the Lutus is Argus and he is getting there. He is following in the footsteps of the great Jewel Dagger Man from House Batiatus in our Lutus Juro. If you remember him, what a gladiator of worth he was. Certainly no shit eater. And Masonus, the legend from the Domino Nobelia district, Spear and Shield. We've got no more purchase slot next one is 111 gold we have 140,000 silver at the moment at the top and 23 gold we're still desperate to get Ixian the legend from the pits in our lineup but we haven't had the opportunity to get him yet okay where are we as opposed to what we're doing here 100% city district 100% market alley 100% pits we still got archer to f defeat in this area and that's dual sword and he's 277 galnius is our dual sword ban i'm sure he's not up to that but at some point we're gonna have to brace it and go for it the fourth encounter against asher so that's a fight that is coming up sometime soon oskan caprio district we've got two left to fight there we've got the trident fight against vitus the leech which Drosseris the dog tried three times and failed if you remember. Apedius isn't at the Drosseris the dog standard yet. If he does beat, if someone does beat that, it unlocks the masses fight against Crixus, which we really want to show on this series soon. It's going to be a massive occasion that for sure. And then finally, the last district, Spectacular district where Mason has managed to beat Ramus Wolfchild. We have a fight pending against Hannibal, the Cannibal, any style. So at the moment, that's probably looking like real big Vic, although our goose is coming up on the rails and could certainly be looking perhaps to go into some of these big fights. Severus the Hunter is the next one if we manage to beat Hannibal, the Cannibal, then Bell, and then finally Legend Spartacus in the main arena. So that's what we've got coming up. Um, we're just going to do a few fights just to remind you of what we've got because it's a bit of a comeback episode now. Um, see how that goes. If it goes well, then we may well go for the spectacular Primus fight, but that may well be in episode 45. 
So let's have a fight in the market alley first of all to just show you how good Argus is. He's going to go in against the mystery challenger. So in we go with Argus there. You can see his record is pretty tasty now. He's had 24 wins from 26 fights and 6 kills. We are looking to up it for coin and fame and favour. Batiatis is really looking at him sending him into some bigger fights in the near future priming him up to be the next Euro. He has had a problem beating the mystery challenger once I think in this district so it's never been convincing for him but today hopefully he's got a few decent perks now hopefully Argus can send someone back into the afterlife with purpose and wield those daggers with real purpose. Don't want him to end up being a shit eater in the mines, that's for sure. Come on, for house batty artists, for fame and favour and wine and women and whores for all. Come on, Argus. Could have had that in there as well. Oh, good boy, ain't you? Come on, Argus. 205 rating. What are we up against? Titus. Ah, going to give you Titus. Shave your tits off. Perhaps not. Likes the headbutt, this man. Titus has got a bit of bite in, though. Not an easy fight. Titus has got a bit of bait in. We're down first. Argus should be beating people like this. It's not a good outing. Got him down. Not out. Come on, Argus. Got us with pork donuts. Argus is coming, and Argus has chopped his head right off his neck. Late comeback from Argus. Fantastic scenes here in episode 44 of Spartacus Legends. Delight for all of you out there. Head departed from neck and sent to afterlife with purpose. What well an Argus. Delightful stuff. That second half of the fight, he was something special. He came back from nowhere and produced a real performance of worth. House Batty Artist will have wine, women, and holes for the night on the back of that. Mystery challenge is gone. Perk dropping. 25th win for Argus. Titus departed. Head gone. Gambler's profit. What is that? Regenerate. No, we don't do parries. Unfortunately, we're not that good. <laughs> Right, what have we got next then? Boom, boom, boom. Haven't been here for a while. We're gonna give a real big fight for a real big Vic in the Dominius Nobella. We are up in it here. We're making sure we're going in with some real big fights here for this comeback episode. This is his 50th fight, can he make it? Win number 47. I really hope he can. 34 afterlife kills for Real Big Vic. That is some effort indeed, isn't it? In we go then. Come on. Here we are then. Nobilia. Dominus. We haven't been here for a while. Real Big Vic. This is going to be a big challenge for him. 174 in the twilight. Oh my god. Teacher of Pain. Julius. 333. This could be a lot more than we bargained for here. It's got us with delights. This is a tough fight. Bigger than we wanted.
We're down first. This is going to be a real tough one. Bloody hell, we didn't expect such a hard fight as this. We're nearly down here. Oh my god, we've lost real big Vic. We have lost real big Vic. And it wasn't even a Primus fight. Real big really didn't perform. We've lost the legend. There will be an afterlife ceremony. And it's real big who's lost on his 50th fight. Sad isn't the word. It really isn't. Absolutely destroyed him. 333 rating. And real big Vic. If we were going to be priming up to send. Well, we were going to be priming up to send him in against. Hannibal the Cannibal has lost his head and has been sent to the afterlife. What a poor. Oh dear me, I don't know what to say. He's gone though. Real big's gone, no coming back. We don't resurrect in this series, you know that. Told you that before. And he's gone. No. He's gone. Real big, 47 wins from 50. What a gladiator of worth. How many wins did he have? I'm not sure. Christ, can we get another one in, in now? And is Ixian in the lineup? That would be the only thing that would no, we don't want him. He's gone. He's gone. There he's gone. Awful news. Recruit a gladiator. Ixian, if he's in the lineup, then that would obviously make it a lot better. Because we want him. Is that Ixian? No. Ugh. So we have decided to recruit Hannibal. A two-handed swordsman to replace deceased Real Big Vic. And Hannibal, the cannibal, or Hannibal is in. We've got to equip him now with all the best gear, obviously. All what we had for the great... Real Big Vic, the great... Here, I have the same helmet as everybody else had on. Already starting to look loins of the lion, I suspect this is, is it? Loins of the lion, he's gonna be a decent gladiator and tiger's chase, I think it is here. Yeah. Got the one three eight already. You will see him fight in a minute or two. His first fight. As always, we went through the lineup. We spent some money on gold refreshing. Ixian never appeared. We could have bought Onomaeus back, but we chose not to. Um, I would like to like finish this series with all the legends in, in my Lutus. It would be great, but we've lost the main talisman now. We have lost Real Big Vic, and that is a massive thing to get over here. Anyway, you're going to see his replacement... Whether it's a good thing or not, you're going to see Hannibal the Cannibal just got a daily goal for something. That's what I was just getting there. You are going to see Hannibal the Cannibal's first fight in the training square in the Lutus to see what we've got against the Sword and Shield Challenger. Hannibal the Cannibal, can he follow in the great footsteps of Nakata? And real big Vic. I'm still I'm still a little bit shell shocked. It's a bit of a bit of blow really to come back and lose real big Vic. I obviously went in too early, too quick. I was too impatient. I didn't realise it was gonna be a free, free, free bloody gladiator, that's for sure. Here we are then, Hannibal the cannibal. We've got to learn to love him like we did real big Vic, that's the trouble. But 
Bellius. The lunatic. Throwing it in the face early, Hannibal. Oh, he's down. Good stuff. Oh, he's got BS down early. Bellis, yes. First one easy peasy really, got caught with a few he shouldn't have done. Can this be a new new hero? Can it be a cannonball? We don't want to call him Hannibal the Cannonball because that's who he's got who he's gonna be primed to fight in the future. We need to call him something different or have to think. Suggestions in the comments down the bottom is what this guy's gonna be called. Hannibal Big Balls or something. <laughs> One win, pretty easy. Obviously no perks at the moment. We'll see him have another fight before we sign off and attend. Real big Vix. Horrible afterlife ceremony, which will conclude this episode 44. Here we are then, training square, Batiatos looking on, still tearing eye from defeat of Real big Vic, hoping that money has been well spent Let the comeback begin. in getting this man. Good start. Got something about him, but as all two handed swordsmen having this. Afterlife kill as well, Wenda. Good stuff, Hannibal. I think he's going to be all right. He's wielding the, the sword with purpose, that's for sure. Defeating all that come. Two wins on the spin and an afterlife kill already for Hannibal. We will farm him up. We will do some fights offline with him that you won't see to try and get him up to a standard like we have done with our goose. Um, that should be a perk anyway. This is what it's all about now. What perks can he get? Fortification perk. Yeah, we'll have that. Not a bad one to put in, first of all. Okay, one more fight just because we're into it now. Here we'll go in early doors against the mystery challenger. And then you've had your fill of fights and hopefully some blood and guts before we get to see the burial of our legendary Real Big Vic, a real gladiator of worth. Triton, we are against the Triton, always a tough test because they like to keep it at distance. 98, Mandius, remember we fought a Mandius before? Master Chef and he was a load of shit, wasn't he, remember? Distance, see? Keeping at a distance. Got him in the gut, Lilo. It's a good test, this, though. It's porking us like a sausage. Could be a defeat here. Come on. Like I said, you can't get close enough to the bloody manulus. Got him down, come on, this would show some real something about him if he could come back from here. It's nip and tuck. Yes! 
Great win. Great stuff from Hannibal. Come back from Neverland there. And one for House Batiatus to give us a bit of heart moving forward in these sad days ahead. I'm going to sign out now um, and leave you to our little tribute to the greatest gladiator that has ever walked in House Batiatus. Real Big Rick. It is a very sad day to see him go. I thought he was going to fall at the sword of a much better gladiator, someone like Crixus or even Spartacus himself. It wasn't even a main legend fight. I feel like I've done him a bit of a disservice. But he's gone. Never to be forgotten, let me tell you. He will join the great gladiators of the past and he will be pride of place as a top man. Nakata, Juro, Enus the Penis, and now Real Big Vic, the four gladiators of Worth that have made this series so special for you at home and for me. We salute you, Real Big Vic. We send you to the afterlife. There has been no greater gladiator of Worth we have ever witnessed. You brought coin, fame, favour, wine and women to all the gladiators in this Lutus and you will never be forgotten brother. He has finished him and he is going to sever head from neck and there it is rolling rolling head winning the end for Victor and an afterlife to Vic just beating Masonus and we're sending him in there crazy decision by Batiatis on that shield Got him though! Yes! We've won him! We've got him real big! Got him there and he's beating the walls! He's letting him back into the afterlife! Fantastic for Bad House Batty Artists! Real Big's done it! Left blood on the sand! A wine and women for all! Come on, Real Big! Come on! So determined not to lose this, I am! again for us. This gladiator will not go down without a real fight. Someone big and like a built like a brick shit out is going to have to take him down. He's not going down. We're not lo losing real big Vic. Not for a long time. Not on my watch, that's for sure. Come on, Batiatus. Give him wine, women and song. Give him everything this man needs. He is your Lutus. He is Capria. He is the king of Capria. What a win. Straight away. Real Big's been working on some other moves as well. Anvil. Anvil, man, didn't even hit Real Big. It's perfection. Did you see that flash out? It was a perfection. Didn't even lose one point. Didn't even get hit. Real Big. We had perfectionist up on the screen. We've never had that before. That is fantastic. Absolute perfection from Real Big Vic. That's the way to fight. That's the way to become a gladiator worth. All you gladiators in this Lucas, take note, I'm the big boy. I'm the man with the biggest cock. Don't you come around here until you can match it. Real big is catching him though. Can't see him not winning this real big Vic. I don't want to sound too cock happy already, but real big is putting in a good first half here. When he come to grab, he had more than he bargained for, the sword of Real Big Rick! Why no one that song for all? Ice Batty Artis! Come on, get up and fight like a man! Finish him, Real Big! Finish him for breakfast! We've won it! We've done it! A cockalese is no more! Head to pirate from there! Ice Batty Artis erupts! Is another massive win here at the hands of Real Big Rick! <laughs> 